I love this Christmassy time of year. Winter break is right around the corner. Oh, excuse me. Call me Sam. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a talking snowman before? To celebrate the holidays, we've created a special holiday hawk talk just for you. Well, you know Jasmine and Kyle, Jesse and Ashley, Brianna and Claire, Dominic and Switzer. But do you recall the greatest anchors of all? Ho, ho, ho. Good morning, El Dorado. I'm sure all of you are on my nights list this year, except for you and you over there, too. Aw, Santa. I can't believe we got to be the guest anchors on the show today. I feel so warm and fuzzy inside. (laughs) Well, you know what warms my heart, Rudolph? The new Terry Conley weight room opened two weeks ago. It was made to commemorate an important man. He was always on the nice list, you know. Things that are special, really special El Dorado, uh, the trees out by the track. See those trees out by the track? Sonora doesn't have trees by their track, and their uh, athletic field is the same thing as El Dorado. Terry Conley was a very important man at El Dorado High School. He was a longtime uh, teacher. He taught in science and in PE especially. He served as the PE department chairman for many, many years. Um, But I think if you ask most kids around campus, they would say Coach Conley was a coach. Coach Conley could have been a head coach in football, basketball, any varsity sport at any high school in America, and he chose to work with the lower level teams because he knew that um, He could teach them the kind of values that would get them not just through their varsity sports career, uh, but through life. Everything he did, he did well. He didn't have to do big things or fancy things. He did little things perfectly. I think it was just really tough on the community. Here you have a PE teacher, rode his bike to work, exercised every day, lifted weights, coached, was always in a great mood, not really ill or not showing it at least, and and then just leaving us, it kind of left us all a little dumbfounded. I think that the first thought was, how can we build a bigger and better weight room that will help carry on that legacy of what Coach Conley believed in? So of course there are some uh, fundraisers that have been going on since his death. Donations have come in. We continue to uh, accept donations. And then uh, teachers on campus, along with the support of many, many student groups and so on, planned the first Terry Conley Memorial Mile. We had about 750 students, kids, teachers, community members, friends, family members come together. It was truly the most extraordinary sight and an incredible tribute to him. Having the Terry Conley Memorial Mile was a huge celebration of his life and everything that he stood for. Everyone came together to honor him and this community raised over $18,000. Half of it went to breast cancer research in honor of his wife and, and daughter and the other half went to the Terry Conley weight room. His legacy was a reminder to be passionate about the things you do, to make a home for yourself wherever you find yourself, and how do you bring other people along and inspire them and make them want to do a good job too. We have a Hall of Fame. Come see the Hall of Fame and see how special that is. The legacy of Terry Conley still lives on, and you will always be a part of El Dorado. It's snowing, Santa. It's snowing! And speaking of snow, here's Bumble with the weather. Ho, ho, ho! Rudolph, what's up next? Time for some reindeer games? That's right. Here's Brittany with Jock Talk. Varsity Wrestling had a great weekend at the La Costa Canyon Duels in San Diego. The Hawks won the 24-team tournament, going 5-0, including a victory over the two-time defending champions from Rancho Bernardo. Shea Bailey, Corby Morris, and Dante Duke were named to the first-team all-tournament team. Girls water polo lost 0-6 to the J. Sarah Lions last Friday. Watch the game against Sonora today at 4 o'clock. Boys soccer lost to the Northwood High Timberwolves by 2 on Saturday. They play in the North Orange County Classic this weekend. Girls Soccer beat Kennedy's Fighting Irish 2-0 on Tuesday. 
They're heading to Savannah for another win this afternoon. Boys basketball was defeated by North Torrance on Tuesday, 48 to 66, with Chris Solis leading with 19 points. Girls basketball shot down the Wilson Wildcats, 48 to 35. Girls and boys basketball continue at the Gary Raya Classic this weekend. Gee, Santa, do you think I can get some extra presents this year? I've been really good. I don't know, Rudolph. How about some extra announcement? <laughs> <laughs> there is a general FBLA meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 510. If you made an ornament at the last Physics Chem Club meeting, remember to pick it up in Mr. Kenny's room before the break. German Club will be having their Christmas party today. Come for a sample of German Christmas and yummy food. Attention all CSF members, don't forget about caroling in the holiday party this Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. Bring a wrapped white elephant gift for the exchange as well as drinks if you're a sophomore, side dish if you're a junior, and a dessert if you are a senior. Don't forget to wear your class colors to the holiday assembly. Seniors black, juniors gold, sophomores white, and freshmen red. The Hip Hop Dance Club will be having a meeting today at lunch in room 603. Philosophy Club, there is a meeting this Friday in P27. Come discuss the topic, religion and problem of evil. This Wednesday and Thursday night at 7 p.m., come enjoy the Holiday Tinsel Show featuring all the vocal music students. Special Friends, there is a Holiday Special Friends party this Friday at lunch. We will be decorating cookies and having lots of fun. There's a club clash practice today at lunch. Be there. If you want to take ROP culinary arts or medical classes next semester, see your counselor as soon as possible to register. There's an ice skating fundraiser for the theater program tomorrow night from 8 to 10 p.m. The cost is $13 for entry and skate rentals. <laughs> What's the matter, Charlie? I'm having trouble getting into the holiday spirit. It's not easy being a misfit. I know just what you mean. My nose shines brighter than the Bradford Stadium. I know what will cheer you up. Roll it.
That reminds me of my old high school days. That was really swell. I feel better already. Sandy, you're the greatest. Oh, don't thank me. Thank the wonderful kids who brought us to life. And thank you, El Dorado, for celebrating with us out here in the North Pole. Oh, no. Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Bye, kids.